Hello and welcome to City Scenes. I'm your host for the week, Tina Treadwell, Human Resources Manager here at the City of LaGrange. I will be going over the events in and around LaGrange for the week of September 5th through the 11th, so let's get started. In 1894, Congress passed a bill recognizing the first Monday of September as Labor Day, making it a federal holiday to honor and recognize the American labor movement. In observation, the City of LaGrange will be closed on Monday, September the 5th. Utility and trash services will be delayed until Tuesday the 6th, while emergency services are still available. Marquis de Lafayette Day is officially September 6th, as proclaimed by Georgia's Governor, House of Representatives, and Senate. The City of LaGrange is even named after Lafayette's home near Paris. Chateau de Lagrange. The Lafayette Alliance will celebrate with a wreath laying ceremony that will begin at 10 a.m. at the downtown square. Make sure to check the LGTV Facebook for a live stream of the event. The Lagrange Art Museum is delighted to announce the September 9th exhibition, which will feature the Enduring Artist Collective Visual Artist Alliance of Lagrange which is an organization of inspired artists representing a wide range of abilities who love the visual arts. This annual exhibition showcases the high caliber of creativity and talent in the region. The opening reception happening on September 9th at 6 p.m. is free to the public. The exhibition will be from the 9th to October 22nd. The LaGrange Art Museum is located at 112 Lafayette Parkway. Whether you drive a motorcycle, Jeep, or truck, jump in your vehicle and come to the Elks Club at 905 South Davis Road on September 10th to join the second annual Ride for Casey's Cure. This ride raises money to fund the research for the scientists who are working on the gene that gave her a rare form of muscular dystrophy. Casey's tissues are currently being studied at the University of Arizona's Medical Center. They've asked for a second tissue donation from her, so this year's goal is to raise as much as we can so we can get her to Arizona and donate to the research lab that is working so hard on Casey's case. Registrations open at 9 with kickstands up at 11. To learn more, visit caseys-cure.org. The LaGrange Fire Department's annual 9-11 Memorial Stair Climb will take place on Saturday, September 10th at the LaGrange High School Sports Complex. Check-in begins at 9. The event will begin at 10 a.m. You may register the day of the event. No pre-registrations are necessary. T-shirts will be available at the event. The cost for registration is $25 per person, check or cash only. All donations for this event will benefit the Terry Farrell's Firefighters Fund, which you can learn more about at terryfund.org. If you do join, please wear sneakers. The LaGrange Art Museum is holding a workshop entitled Intro to Pastel's Local Landscapes on Saturday the 10th at 10 a.m. Join artist Micah Gowen to learn the basics and application methods for pastel. You will create a lush landscape using techniques like blocking in, alcohol washes, and bold and expressive strokes. The fee of $75 per person includes the day of instruction, an 8x10 amber stand panel, and a 24 set of Myungo Gallery pastels for you to keep. No experience necessary, although your painting experiences will come in handy if you have it. And lastly, on Saturday, September the 10th, Good Sam Ministry is hosting their September packing event from 1.30 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Come out and help to pack bags for Troop County's children in need. Good Sam Ministry packs bags to send with students who may not have a weekend meal otherwise. Join them in the building behind Shoal Creek Baptist Church located at 1032 Young Mills Road. Check out the Good Sam Ministry Facebook page for more information. Those are the events happening in LaGrange the week of September 5th through the 11th. We hope you can get out, have fun, and stay safe. 
For the City of LaGrange, I'm Tina Treadwell. Again, have a great week.